Uh, well, we were gonna go try to find some snakes today, but I guess we're just gonna be in this. Holy crap, that's a lot of rain. All right, well, we're heading out for the night and we just cruised a beautiful little Western Diamondback. Check that out. All right, Steven is wrangling this grumpy beast so I can talk about him for a second, but the first snake of the night is once again, a good looking little Western Diamondback. This guy is very cranky and does not want to sit still though. So I think we're just gonna let him go on his way. Really good looking snake though. And you can see he is quite agitated. Really good looking Aatrox to start the night yet again. And we're just gonna let him move off into the mesquite. All right, everyone, Steven and I are out here shining around on what is gonna be our last night in West Texas for at least a couple of days. We are heading to New Mexico tomorrow to switch up our targets a little bit, so. Hopefully we can do well tonight. This is an area that neither of us has spent much time, but it's also pretty notoriously difficult. So uh, I'm not really sure what to expect tonight. So we're gonna get into it though, and hopefully we'll find some snakes. All right guys, here's our first herp of the night at about 10 o'clock. This is a little couch's spadefoot toad. Just hanging out, enjoying the humidity tonight. This is a female. They're actually sexually dimorphic. I learned that from Steve here. The males are bright green and the females have pattern. Hoping she was gonna eat one of these bugs, but I guess not. Either way, really cool looking amphibians. They're very common out here though. I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't the only one we see on this trip. So we're just gonna leave her alone and uh, keep shining. Really hoping we can find some snakes out here tonight before we have to head into our hotel and get some sleep to get up in the morning. Uh, because tomorrow we are going to be heading to New Mexico to look for rock rattlesnakes and mountain king snakes, etc. Look at this big guy. Sheesh. Look at the size of that thing. Well, there's our first snake of the night. A beautiful little rock rattlesnake. Holy crap. That was one of our big targets for the day. And he is stunning. Look at that pinkish coloration. Well, that is just incredible. It only took three hours to find a single snake. And there we go. So this locality is known for producing some pretty crazy looking leps. And uh, that's no exception. The faded coloration on this snake is just amazing. And it's got really beautiful peachy undertones. And uh, just a really great looking snake all around from a place where they're pretty tough to come by. So night is definitely made the West Texas segment of this trip for me is definitely made with this snake. It looks to be a young female modeled rock rattlesnake. Look at that tongue flicking. Just beautiful. Really awesome peachy and blue undertones on this one. A lot nicer than the one we saw last night for sure. Even though that was a pretty good looking snake. The night is still fairly early though, so what we're gonna do is take some quick pictures of this snake and probably see what else we can turn up. We do have to get to bed at a reasonable hour tonight, like I said earlier, because we were planning on getting up in the morning and going to New Mexico. So we're probably gonna take some pictures of this snake real quick and get back to hunting and see what else we can turn up. Beautiful modeled rock rattlesnake here in West Texas. So while we're sitting here looking at this snake, it is starting to drizzle on us, which is very rare for here. So we're gonna try to take advantage of that and see what else is out beautiful modeled rock rattlesnake to start and possibly end the night depending on what we can turn up here in the next couple hours all right everyone well we got poured on for a little bit and switched locations but uh we're just gonna hit one more cut i think and then we're gonna call it a night at one snake after dark and then the atrox that we got while it was still light outside but kind of slow night but we got the big one of the big things we were hoping to see so can't really complain about that at all and uh, we're going to go get a good night's sleep and get up early in the morning and look for banded rock rattlesnakes in New Mexico. Good morning, everyone, from incredibly lush New Mexico in the monsoon season. 
It is incredible out here right now. I've never seen it this green. And Stephen and I are about to hit the trail and hope to find some banded rock rattlesnakes. So uh, we're going to do just that, and I will update you guys with how this goes. We have to meet Graham around 1 this afternoon, so we have about four hours to hike out here. There is our first herp of the day. That little guy is an ornate tree lizard. Very common out here. Probably going to see dozens of them today. Check these guys out. Tons of little tadpoles in this really tiny little puddle. No clue what these are. I would assume canyon tree frog, but Steven saw a toadlet, so they could be red spotted toad. Well, there's a lot of them. There's a nice looking whip tail. I believe this is a chihuahuan spotted. See if he'll uh, let us get a little closer. Still no snakes yet this morning, and it's heating up quite fast. Well, we're down here by this creek, and Steven spotted this big guy hopping around. This is an adult red spotted toad. Likely the culprit of those tadpoles we saw earlier, but uh, he was heading to the creek, so we're just gonna let him continue on his way. That's about as big as those guys get. Here's another whip tail. Really handsome looking guy. What's up, dude? Look at this dude. He is asserting his dominance. <laughs> he ain't scared of me. Oh, he's scared of me all of a sudden. Well, to put it politely, we got our asses handed to us this morning. But we're currently heading to meet up with Graham and we're going to head to an area that is a little bit more lush and a little bit less hot. So hopefully we'll be able to turn up some snakes here this afternoon, but it was a nice hike this morning. The range we were in was really nice and lush, um, the lushest I've ever seen it by far. And uh, at least we got to see some lizards and some frogs and a uh, nice little morning hike before we have to meet up with Graham. So we're gonna go do that now and I will check in with you guys when we get to our final destination for the day. That is a huckleberry lollipop, in case you're wondering what that thing I just gestured at the camera was. There he is. Carson's here, too. Water! What are we going to go do, Graham? We're going to go wrestle up some cloudberries and <laughs> mess around in the mountains for a couple of days. We're back in habitat, ladies and gentlemen. This time targeting the Arizona mountain king snake here in New Mexico. We've got beautiful monsoon season weather today. Clouds are over us right now. There's been a lot of rain, so it's nice and lush up here. I like our odds of seeing something pretty cool today, so I'm gonna get to it, and I will let you guys know how it goes. These guys are so cool. Oh. Graham has an anguid. <laughs> it's anguid Oh, for you. yeah, Shouts dude. Shouts out to Carson for the spot there. Oh, that's great. That's about as good as- Oh, he's shedding. All right, guys, we'll first find here in this mountain range a beautiful little Madrean alligator lizard. These guys are a kind of distant relative of the glass lizards, but I like to think of them as just glass lizards that still have their legs. You can kind of tell in the face, but oh my God, if they aren't the best. Such awesome lizards. Definitely the highlight of the day so far. And the good news is they're fairly common here, so we'll probably see a couple more. This guy actually has a regenerated tail. You can tell because it's just doesn't look quite right and you can see where his pattern just abruptly ends and the tails don't always grow back perfectly um, so it's usually pretty easy to tell when they've lost it before that could be to a predator or someone trying to catch it or whatever but it's actually kind of hard to break these guys tails so it's more likely that, that was a predator than a herper but either way really awesome little lizard we're gonna put him back and uh, keep hiking for that pyro 
All right, guys, here's our first snake of the day. Oh, let's get him before he goes in a hole. That is a wandering garter snake. These tend to be the most common snake in this area, and this one's a stinky, poopy mess, so I'm gonna pass him off the gram, but first snake of the day, harmless wandering garter snake. Here's another garter snake. I went to flip this rock and spotted this guy basking. That's a little better looking than the first one. Generally, the wandering garters here aren't as nice as they are some other places, but still pretty nice looking snake, so we're gonna let him go after a couple quick shots. I'd probably expect to see a couple more of these guys today, and maybe every day for the rest of the trip at this point. Check this guy out. Graham said, a bearded dragon, and I looked up and this guy was running into a crack in a rock. But this is a crevice spiny lizard. Actually, I think these here are a different sub or a different full species than the ones we have in West Texas, so kind of cool. Annoyingly enough, it is drizzling on us now, so we might end up getting rained out for a little bit here, so we're just gonna let this guy go and keep at it while we can. Well, guys, it is about 7.15, and we still have not seen too much out here today. It has been fairly slow, despite how nice it feels. We're still out here trying, but uh, I think our best bet at seeing anything else for the rest of the day is going to be on the road, so... I'm slowly making my way back to the car. I'm here with Carson, Graham, and Steven split up and went to hit some of the higher up stuff. If we see something on the way back to the car, I'll let you know, but if not, I might check in with you guys once we start road cruising. Nice. All right, here is our first snake of the night. Nice little black tail. We actually saw a dead one earlier that was a lot bigger, but this is a beautiful little snake. This is actually the same species of blacktail we have in West Texas, the Eastern or Ornate blacktail. Ooh, he's giving us a little hiss. These guys are normally a very laid back rattlesnake species, but this guy's looking like he's gonna be a little grumpy with us. But yeah, nice to finally get our eyes on a decent snake. It's been a pretty rough go of it so far the last 24 hours or so. So I will definitely take that. We're gonna move this guy off the road and keep cruising, see if we can turn up anything else. Hello. That's a really nice black tail. It is. His I, tail is amazing. I like his circles up on his neck. Yeah. That's really neat. You wanna come say hello? You wanna go say hi to Steven's foot? Just don't climb me. I'm not a tree. There it is, being chased by a rattlesnake. He stopped. He kept going. All right. You survived a rattlesnake attack, Stephen. How you feel? Great. <laughs> yeah. Yo! Let's go! A desert king. Yeah. That is not something we were expecting to see up here tonight. That is yes. awesome. Let's Look at go. that guy. Let's go. These guys are fairly common out here. They're not as rare as they are back home, but still awesome oh, to see man. any king snake. Terrible. Well, it's a Lampropeltis. It's not the one we were looking for today, and it's actually kind of surprising to see, given we're up in the mountains a little bit. All right, he's balling up right now, but we are going to photograph this guy real quick and get back on the road because snakes seem to be out in decent numbers, so we're gonna see what else we can turn up. What a good looking little snake. An Aatrox. <laughs> Very graceful. He slipped. That was excellent. <laughs> Can somebody... Wait, I need video of him. And then I woke up to, that's a big snake, which is nice. All right, western well, next snake of the night is a western diamondback rattlesnake. Um, in much of Arizona, New Mexico, and parts of west Texas, these guys are extremely common. Dude. All righty. Off the road with you. There you go, brother. That was Carson's nice looking Aatrox. Really? No, no. <laughs> no I just... That is a big Aatrox indeed, Steven. Second one of the night. Quite a bit larger than the first. Wow. I like me them decks. Yeah, they do. That one's pretty cool looking too. Yeah, it is. It's really faded, and those white highlights are real yeah. bold. Yeah, he's, he, that's a really good one. All right, everyone, well, we are back at camp for the night. It was a solid night of road cruising with a couple of Aatrox and uh, Blacktail and a, the highlight being the little Desert King. But, but yeah, decent numbers night, decent quality. Can't really complain about it. We're about to crash here at camp and uh, get up early in the morning to hike for Pyros again. So I will see you guys then.